Today I got submitted a pretty crazy story and I know you guys will enjoy it, so sit back, relax, grab something to eat, subscribe if you like stories, and let's call today's subscriber who sent in the story, let's call him Frank. So Frank was doing online school. This happened a little while ago. Frank's now back in person. But when Frank was doing online school, he really wasn't paying attention in class. And at the end of the day, man, I can't really blame him. I know when I was doing Zoom classes, it was really hard to pay attention. But Zoom, uh, did Zoom, no, Frank. Frank had a really difficult history class. And the thing is, right, it probably wasn't that difficult of a class. But when you're not paying attention, it is like extra difficult. Because you can't do kind of like math where you can kind of figure it out. It's like in history, it's like you either know what happened in 1852 or you don't. And in a lot of cases, Frank really didn't know. And the thing is, right, if it was more of a, if like Frank's final exam, because he had a really massive final exam in history, or maybe not final exam because he still had school, but like a very big midterm or something. If the midterm was kind of like multiple choice, Frank might have been able to look up the questions. The problem is Frank had a really big test like a really big test and the test was like a paper that like he had to write about but it was all about the history they've been learning so he can't just like look up the answer to question five it's not easy like that and basically when the thing starts he has like 60 minutes to start and finish the paper it's only like two pages long so it's not like the 60 minutes is actually probably enough for him to figure it out but if you have not been paying attention during the history course you're screwed so anyways right it's time for Frank to take his, his test. He's sitting in his room and he's pretty nervous because he's not been paying attention during the entire semester. And he kind of knows that like, oh man, like I'm kind of screwed. Like I'm kind of like, this is not good. By the way, uh, this was Frank was in his freshman year of high school, just for a little bit of context. And yeah, sure enough, right? You know, it, the, the, the prompt pops up, the timer starts and Frank looks at the prompt and he literally has no idea where to start. And he starts panicking. He doesn't know what to do. He's like, ah, man, what? Huh? Like, I, I literally have no idea what to do. I don't even remember any of this. Like, oh my God, what am I going to do? So what does Frank end up doing? Uh, you know, he decides he has a friend in his class. So he f sends his friend a text saying, hey, man, I'm so sorry, but I literally have no idea what to do for the prompt. Can you help me out? Yes. Frank is doing the uh oh spaghettio big bad boy cheating. Uh, guys, a little disclaimer, don't cheat on your stuff. You gotta do it legitimately. You are robbing yourself or whatever the phrase is. Just, just don't cheat. I do not condone it. But that's what Frank did in the story. So anyways, right, Frank texts one of his friends. His friend's like, yeah, I got you. And Frank's friend sends him kind of like a summary of what he needs to talk about. So Frank starts typing away and Frank is completely pulling stuff out of his butt. Like he's really just going off the summary and just adding in extra details and you know Frank knows that he's not going to get an A on this but he also knows he's not going to fail it which is really what was going to happen if his friend didn't help him out if he's being honest but anyways right Frank eventually finished up finishes up his assignment turns it in and is like ah finally I'm done and yeah, Frank is done with that assignment and he's kind of chilling for the rest of the week because yes, he still has to go to class, but like though that was like the big midterm and he's going back to not really paying attention. I mean, he's eventually going to have to take a final exam in this class. So he's just thinking to himself, he'll probably do the same thing again. And then when he goes back in person, that's when he'll really focus. That's when he'll really get his act together. Unfortunately for him, a series of events is about to occur that is really crazy and you guys got to strap in for it. So unfortunately for Frank, he's got some really, 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 uh, I don't know, nosy parents and some parents that really involve themselves way too much in Frank's life. I mean, even though he's only a freshman in high school, he's still a freshman in high school. So one day, right, Frank leaves his phone on the table in the kitchen and he leaves it unlocked. Uh, he just decides not to turn it off or whatever, assuming that, you know, he's in his own house, like he can do that. And Frank goes off to use the bathroom or goes off to do something. He's gone for a little bit. And his mom is like at the kitchen table. She looks at his phone and she's like, mm, you know what? I think it, I, I, for me to be a good parent, I need to make sure that my son is not doing anything bad. So it's okay that I invade his privacy and look at his phone. 
I'm giving her that nasally voice because I'm trying to say that I disagree with that sentiment. I really don't think anyone should be going through like, I mean, I get it if they're really young, but dude, he's a freshman in, the, in high school. Let him make his own mistakes. You know, your son's never going to learn if you never let him make mistakes. But you know, the mom goes on his phone and starts rapidly going through everything. His mom starts going through his camera roll and it's like, oh, this joke is not funny. He finds like some offensive meme in his camera roll or something. But the problem occurs when she starts to go through his recent texts and she's scrolling through and she's just reading everything. And eventually she finds the texts where Frank asks his friend to help him cheat on the final exam. And she's probably just because like, look, Frank doesn't know exactly what she was thinking or saying because he wasn't there. I mean, very obviously he would have taken the phone away if that happened, but she was probably like, oh my God, my son is cheating. Oh no, he's doing something morally questionable. I must intervene. So sure enough, right, Frank's mom finds Frank's dad, shows him like what the text is, and Frank's mom legitimately takes a screenshot and sends herself a text from Frank's phone so that he can't delete it or try and hide evidence. So anyways, right, Frank comes back from doing whatever he was doing, and he comes to like, he's, he's cause he probably like went upstairs to go on his computer, do something, and he's like, oh, I left my phone downstairs. So he came downstairs to go grab his phone, and he looks to find his phone on the kitchen table where he remember he left it. And he comes downstairs and his phone was not on the kitchen table. So he's like, mom, do you happen to know where my phone is? I think I left it here. And she's like, she, his, like his mom is like kind of tearing up a little bit. And he's like, mom, like what's wrong? Is everything okay? And she's like, nothing. I'm just questioning your morals recently. <laughs> and the father is like, Frank, we need to have a discussion. And Frank's kind of like, hey, yo, what? Huh? My morals are, is every, what? Like, uh, huh? <laughs> He's just so confused at this point. He has no idea what's going on, right? Real quick, comment iPhone down below if you want to heart on your comment. I don't know how busy I'm going to be when I'm posting this, so don't get offended if I don't heart your comment right away. Just know I really do appreciate you either way. I'll try and heart your comment, though. I it's I really spent a lot of time trying to do that. And also, if you want to support the channel and help me out, like, a ton, binge watch my videos. It's like, watch a ton of videos in a row. And if you do that, like, I, it, let me know in the comments, and I'll try and personally thank you, because that's, that, that's the best way to help the channel. Their playlist in the description or in the playlist page really helps me out. Anyways, right back to the story. So Frank is standing there like, bro, like, what's going on? And, you know, Frank's dad is like, you know, your mother went through your phone. And Frank's like, hey, bro, like, that's, that's a privacy issue. But he doesn't say anything. He just is kind of curious what they found. And you know, his Frank's dad is like, we went through your phone and we found, you know, some really disturbing messages. We found out that, you know, you were asking your friend for help while doing a final exam. And his mom starts bursting out crying. And first of all, bro, look, cheating's not good, but it's not that deep. It's just simply not that deep. I'm just keeping it a buck. It's just not that deep. And his father's like, we have come to the decision that we must inform your teacher that you cheated on that big assignment. And Frank's heart just drops because he knows that if that happens, he's going to fail the assignment, like straight up get a zero, not even get a 50. He's going to get a zero and his grade will legitimately be unsavable, even if he grinds super hard. So he's like, mom, dad, like you can't do that. I think I'll actually fail the class. And, you know, the dad is like, oh, well, we've come to the conclusion that to really teach you like a failing class is going to hurt you in your future. But something that would hurt you even more is having a crooked conscience. And Frank is like, bro, it's not that deep. Oh, my God. And Frank's dad is like, your mother and I have already came to our conclusion. Like, don't try and persuade us otherwise. By the end of tonight, we will send out an email to your teacher. In the meantime, you can think about what you did. Bro, it's not that deep. I swear to God. But, you know, Frank is like, oh, my God, like, this is not good. I need to figure out a way to, like, get them to not send that email. So Frank comes up with a mini plan. And his plan is, like, right before they send the email, he's going to, like, unplug the Wi-Fi so they might think that the email sent. But the email never ends up sending. And then they just think that the email sent, but it never actually sends. So anyways, right, Frank is monitoring them very closely. And they have, like, a family computer. And that's the one that, like, his mom and his dad use. He used to use it for a while, but now he has his own computer. But anyways, right, you know, he's watching them and eventually his mom gets up from like watching TV with her husband or his dad, right? And she goes to the computer and Frank's like, all right, this is my time. Frank runs over to the Wi-Fi box and tries to time it properly, looks over at his mom typing something up and he turns off the Wi-Fi, right? And it seems like she doesn't even notice. She clicks send and then gets up and leaves. 
So Frank is almost certain that, you know, his plan worked because he runs over to the computer, checks the computer, and yeah, sure enough, right, an email was typed up, and he checks it, and it said, failed to send connection problems, and Frank's like, yes, I made it, like, I, like, I, 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 like, I, I outsmarted them, whatever, they're gonna think I'm failing the class, whatever, but I'm gonna be just fine, and, uh, Frank thought that he, unfortunately for Frank, uh, you know, his mom later that night, when Frank doesn't notice, goes back to the email to see if, like, she got a response, because, like, she's expecting the teacher to respond, oh, good heavens, oh, or something like, okay, don't clip that out of context. Guys, please. Guys, please. But unfortunately, right, Frank's mom went back and checked the email and saw that it didn't send, and it was like, oh, we must have had Wi-Fi issues, so just resent it. And the email made it to Frank's teachers. But Frank didn't know this. He thought that he was chilling. He thought he was cruising. So he's in Zoom class, right? And he gets there, and the teacher is kind of looking at him. And Frank feels a little paranoid, but he's also like, well, there's nothing for me to worry about, right? I mean, the email didn't send. I literally checked it myself. Like, I'm not even guessing. I went to the email itself and checked to make sure it didn't send, and I verified that it never sent. But the teacher was giving him this look, and eventually the teacher starts class. And, you know, he's just got a weird feeling. Frank just has a sense. Like, just his spidey senses are tingling right now. And sure enough, right, uh, when the class is like 15 minutes till it's almost over, right? 15 minutes or so. He has a Zoom camera off and his mic muted. He's not even paying attention at all. It's like most of the kids have their at least their cameras on. But at this point, Frank is totally checked out. But he receives a message, a private message from his teacher saying, can you stay after class for like a couple minutes? And Frank's heart just sinks. So Frank panics a little bit. He's like, oh my God, did the email actually send? So Frank goes, like gets up, leaves the Zoom class because he doesn't have his camera on or his mic's muted. And the teacher never calls on anyone who doesn't want to be called on or doesn't suggest themselves. Um, so anyways, he gets up goes to the family computer, opens it up, and his heart sinks even more because he checks the email, and sure enough, the other one didn't send, but it was just copy and pasted and sent again when the Wi-Fi was back on. And Frank is like, oh my God, I'm screwed, and my parents screwed me over. So Frank goes back to his Zoom class, and he's just got this pit in his stomach. He's feeling, like, queasy and anxious, and it's like the longest 10 minutes of a Zoom class ever. And by the time the class ends, the teacher's like, all right, class, I'll see you guys tomorrow. He is invited to a private room with the instructor, and he's just sitting there, and it's like it'll automatically teleport or teleport. It'll automatically bring him to that Zoom meeting in like 30 seconds, and he's just sitting like, I should really click on this. He just can't bring himself to do it. He literally waits out the 30 seconds and just lets it automatically bring him because he just can't bring himself to doing it, man. He just feels so sick and gross at this moment. So eventually he does end up joining, and the teacher's like, all right, well, it took you long enough, but hi there, Frank. And the teacher's like, uh, this, like the teacher was actually very chill, a very fun guy, but he's like, hey, Frank, like, you know, we don't have the most fun conversation ahead of us. Like, I think you probably already know what this is about, but I did receive an email from your parents indicating that you received extra help on the final exam where, you know, it was very specific that you shouldn't have received extra help. And the teacher's like, normally, I, if it was up to me, um, I would want to like talk this out. I would give you second chances. I would give you an opportunity to just straight up retake the test and maybe without like any extra assistance. However, Frank, it is, I need to like abide by school policy. They're very strict with this. The teacher goes on to explain that even though he would have liked to give uh, Frank another chance and to kind of like forget about this or whatever, since it was like documented and it's like in his email and like it is really like cemented that he did cheated and like multiple people are now aware because of the email that the teacher unfortunately has to go like 100% by school rules. And the school rules are that like the assignment, like it's kind of up to the teacher's discretion of how bad of a punishment but at a minimum, the assignment has to clock in at a 0%. And the teacher said, all right, Frank, like, I hate to break it to you, but with this 0%, like, this assignment was really large. It's, it's, um, it's the, at this point in the semester, because Frank wasn't doing so hot, but he, he was going to pass the class. The teacher was like, Frank, I'm sorry, but it's statistically impossible for you to pass the class at this point. 
And once again, Frank didn't think his heart could sink any farther, but it did, man. It found a way to sink farther. And he's just like, he kind of chokes out an okay. And Frank's teacher's like, man, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I know this sucks. Like, everyone's had those moments. I'm sorry your parents had to bring it like this. And I wish this could be handled differently. And Frank's like, it's okay. I, I understand. And so, yeah, sure enough, Frank uh, hangs up the Zoom meeting and walks out. And his parents are like, so, did you learn a lesson? And Frank just looks at him with this look of anger. Like, yes, you guys suck and are weird. And Frank's like, well, I, not really. I mean, the teacher said he wanted to handle it differently, but because you sent them an official email about it, I'm going to fail the class. And his mom's like, what? Can't you just like work really hard? And he's like, no, mom, I can't work really hard. It's statistically impossible for me to pass the class now. And his mom's like, oh, I didn't know that. And he's like, well, your actions have consequences. Oh my God, spoiler, shocker. And so anyways, right... So Frank talks with the teacher and the teacher says, you know what, I'm gonna mark you as here for the rest of the class, but since you're gonna fail it, I don't mind if you take it off to like work on other classes, like you don't need to show up, I'll mark you as present. And Frank is actually very appreciative because he knows the teacher would have wanted to deal with this differently if his parents didn't do what they did. And he's like, I really appreciate that. Like, and the teacher's like, I'm sorry you're in the situation, like I'll do what I can do. And so anyways, Frank did use that time pretty appropriately, but for the rest of the year, he was not a fan of his, he was not on good terms with his parents. Apparently, very recently, uh, they mended stuff and, you know, his parents apologized and everything. But yeah, that was not a good experience. And uh, Frank is very protective over his phone nowadays. Understandably click so. Click on the video on screen right now. I know you'll enjoy it. Just click it, do it.